Hi, this is Mandena from Fabric. In this video we will create some dashboard similar to the sales dashboard from the templates and from this video but instead of using a sample event source we are going to use our new Google Spreadsheets add-on to send the information from the uh, from a spreadsheet to Event Fabric. So the first thing you need to do is to create a new spreadsheet or one you already have, let's name it uh, sales and if you don't have it already you need to install the add-on so you click on the menu add-ons and get add-ons when the dialog opens write event fabric and hit enter and then you click here the blue button it will ask you for permissions that we need to access the data from your spreadsheets so you click allow and then it will start installing the add-on when it's finished working which you will see here a dialog will appear uh, so now you have a sub menu here called Event Fabric. The first thing you need to do is to select the settings uh, menu item to configure uh, the add-on for you. Uh, you have to enter your Event Fabric username, uh, your Event Fabric password, and here on group um, you have to uh, put uh, the group where you want to send the event. Uh, usually it's uh, your the group for your user, so it's uh, underscore user underscore Mar uh, your username, in my case Mariana Ibaja, and the channel where you want to send the data. Uh, by default it's called Google Sheets, but in this case let's call it Sales Data, and we click OK. Now uh, let's uh, go here and let's create a new dashboard, so I will create new, click New and call it my sales sales dashboard and I will select the extension widgets and widgets e-charts and click create so now we have an empty dashboard uh, what we did on the previous video which you can look on your YouTube channel uh, is to create a sample event source in this case it's not going to be a sample event source it will be an event source so we hit settings and select event source here and here you, we have to write the channel that we configured here because we want to receive the events uh, on the channel so we, we can copy from the settings dialog and we can name this uh, source sales data so let's try it um, I will cancel this because it's already configured so I already have some sample data, well I don't because I copy and paste it. Um, so let's generate it. Let's make that the first column is the country name, so Germany. Uh, the second will be the category, food. The third one will be the price, uh, 32. And the fourth one will be the country code. So we, it looks similar to, to the data source uh, we have on the sample data source. Uh, let's uh, put some more data, Argentina, electronics, 40, R, uh, Italy, sports, 35, it, and one more, Brazil, uh, music, 26, the R. So we have the we have the, some data. We click add-ons, event fabric send, and we go to event fabric, and we can see that the event is already received. If we click here, we can see the content. Uh, we have the standard data, the channel metadata when it was generated, the group, um, and the value field, which is the one that you will find interesting. It has almost all the information that the Google spreadsheet provides. The ID of the spreadsheet which may be useful if you want to only receive events from one spreadsheet or differentiate between more than one. The name of the document, sales in this case, the owner of the document, myself, the sheet ID and the sheet name that was selected when the event was sent. We can see this. If I add a new sheet and put uh, some number and send it, we will see that now this will change to sheet ID and some number and the name will be a different one but that's not useful usually. Uh, then there's a field value.sheets that's a list um, indexed from zero uh, that has all the sheets and the content of each one. 
In this case, the first one will have uh, all will have the following fields: cells with the content of the cells that have data. The empty ones won't be sent. The index of the sheet in the document, the name and sheet ID and sheet name. I don't know the difference between these two, but Google Spreadsheets provides uh, different fields for this, so I I just provide them also. On the next one, we will have only the, the number 42 um, and nothing else because it's the only cell that has some content and the, also this information. So what we now want to do is for each uh, row in the first uh, sheet, which is indexed in zero, we want to take uh, these four columns and, uh, and convert them to an object because to put names on these. So what we will do is we will drag and drop an adapter and I will send the data again so the, so the adapter has input data that we can inspect. You can see now we see it again. So now we can click show input and we can see the data. So what we will do is um, for each item we will rename this to row because each item will be a row. In list uh, each uh, row is uh, in the list that you can access access uh, in value dot sheets dot zero dot cells so we will do that value dot sheets dot zero dot cells and for each row we want to generate one output event so we will use the in the output section the emit uh, block and we want to emit a new object which will have the country name, the country code, uh, the name of the category and the amount. Uh, I'm naming the fields uh, the same way that they are named on the sample event source. And um, this one is amount. So now we have the row stored in a variable called row and it's uh, an object which means it has uh, fields inside. So each of these uh, will be in the variable row for each element in the item and we want to access the fields named 1, 2, 3 and 4 which are the columns. Uh, in this case here they are numbered from 1 uh, on because uh, Google Spreadsheets and Excel uh, number rows and columns starting from 1. Um, here it's uh, numbered from 0 because lists uh, are indexed in by, by 0. But you, you just have to see the, the field you want to access and uh, just put that. In this case, will be row that one will be Germany, row that two will be food, and so on. So let's try that. Uh, to access a field on a variable, we have um, a, fi um, a block called get var path. So here we will be row that one. This will be the country name. Uh, this the name of the category will be row that two. The amount will be the third and the country code will be the fourth. So let's see the output preview. We can see that we are generating one event per row. We can see this, this bar separates events and that we have the fields uh, on the root of the event because we are generating one event for each row and we are naming the fields. So we, the, the fields are not in the value field. Um, like usually for <coughs> for events that come from outside event fabric. The, the only thing, thing you we have to fix is that amount is still um, text. Uh, text is green and italic and numbers are bold and, uh, and blue. So what we have to do here, text, we have a block called to integer. Well, actually we don't want it to make it integer. We want to make it uh, a decimal to decimal in case the, there are cents uh, on the amount. So now if we see the output preview, we can see that it's now bold and blue. So it's a number. And uh, so that's enough for now. Uh, we can send uh, a new event to see it working. It will get one event as input, which is the content of the, ho of the whole spreadsheet. And as output, it will get four events, one per each row. In this case, if we add 100 rows, it will generate 100 events. So now let's make um, one of the examples we had, which is a bar chart uh, stacked uh, displaying the um, 
sales by continent by category so now we go to data node templates data view it charts basic in this case they won't be inside the value uh, because uh, we are generating the the input event they are just at the top and this will be continent we click ok let's try it sending a, a new event and it's uh, received for events and we can see here okay we made a mistake CLE is undefined, so we made a mistake. That I think. Oh, there, there's no continent. Uh, we forgot to to add the continent. So let's add the continent on the next row. Uh, so this is Europe, America, America, nope, America, and this is Europe. So. Let's fix this. Let's go to the first one. We will add a new field called continent. The continent is on the fifth column. So let's click OK. Let's send this event again. And let's clear this. I forgot to name the field continent. So now let's try again. Let's say a new event. Let's clear it. And now we have a uh, sales by category by continent. In this case, America and Europe, because they are the only data I'm generating. Let's make it the other way around. Let's put the continent at the bottom. And here on the data view settings, I oh know, sorry. We will reverse these two. And we clear this and send the data again. Let's add some data, uh, Japan, music, 40, JP, Asia, and uh, Egypt, electronics, 20, I think it's EG, Africa, let's send this. And now we can see that Asia and Africa appeared uh, because we, we send more data. And let's do a pie chart, but you can imagine how it continues from here on. Uh, we drag and drop, a, let's name this uh, bar. Let's select a pie chart here. Name it pie. And we will use node templates, data view, it will be amount, the label will be a uh, name, and let's remove this one, click OK, and now let's try it by sending some data, and it will appear. By default they will accumulate, so when it every time you send a new, a new spreadsheet uh, content it will accumulate on top of the ones that uh, they were already there uh, but right now if i reload the dashboard it will start empty until someone sends data if we want to load recent uh, data for that what we can do is um, use the say loader so we connect it to the first transformer and Fabric will remember the, the recent events for each channel. So here we select event history. We add 
the channel is sales data from the, this group we want to load the last let's say five every time the dashboard loads we will load the last five we can make that bigger but for now I own really all I only sent uh, a small amount of events so now when I load the dashboard it will start with content because uh, the, the loader will load the last five uh, events I sent from Google Spreadsheets we can see that the, the, the first one only has uh, four uh, rows Germany, Argentina, Italy and Brazil as I was doing it and then I added Japan and Egypt, Egypt. So you can, every time you have some update, you can change this. Uh, oops, it's a lot of numbers. And send it again. And your dashboard will update accordingly. And uh, let's use some layout. And whenever you reload, it will load the recent uh, events if you want. So this was a... Uh, an example of using uh, the Google Spreadsheets add-on for Event Fabric to build a sales dashboard. In this case, I only covered two two widgets, but uh, you can follow this uh, video to to do the other two. And if you have any question, just comment on the YouTube section of this video, or contact us on YouTube or on Facebook or Twitter or via email. Bye.